So this was a great question, but it's not one I can answer in 123 characters, so I thought I would put together a quick video to uh, help explain it. The question is, uh, if these are one-week bars, what conditions must be met for the order size to show up on the one-week heat map? The bids must have been, have the bids uh, been resting for 50% or more of the week? Uh, no, that would not be the case. Uh, what would happen if a $100 million bid flashed and got filled within a short time frame? Great question. And to explain it, uh, let's go to a, a, a live fire chart and explain how things are laid out here. So as you can see, we offer um, different time frames from a day, a week, month, six month, one year, and three years. So let's go to the three year chart because that's the one I had in the tweet. And I'll zoom in. Um, and I've got actually the volume percentiles uh, adjusted to make it easier. Let me just show you what it looks like when it's um, straight off the line. Everything is relative to the highest uh, level of liquidity in the chart. So in this case, there's $127 million worth of uh, bid liquidity right here that, that kicked things off. Uh, but we were, we were talking about the depth below. So I'm going to uh, just bump things up a notch, filter out some of the lower liquidity and make it easy to see um, these columns that we're, that we're referring to. So in, uh, to manage all of this data uh, obviously takes a lot of processing. Uh, and when you're talking about this much history, um, what we do to make the processing easier and the load times faster is compress the historical data. So uh, each of our um, assets, um, Firechart supports all Bitcoin and BTC pairs on, on Binance. And every one that has been around for at least three years um, has three years of history. With one footnote, um, Bitcoin we have been aggregating at this depth since November uh, of 2020. So we're looking at about 17 months so far on our way up to three years. So uh, these columns um, are basically uh, the history condensed into uh, a one week chunk, as you can see. Um, if we were to see a $100 million bid show up uh, right now, we would see it appear here um, for sure. We would see it appear here, no question. But if you're looking um, for that granular data, you're not going to be looking at a three year chart to do that. You would see it uh, on, a, on a shorter time frame chart. And the binning and scaling that we have here changes relative to each chart. So where these columns are a week um, for each, each column, each row represents at this level about a thousand dollar range. As we zoom in to a one year, um, and I'll zoom back into the chart. These columns get to about three days. Let's see, that's uh, the 11th to the 14th. Okay, so these are three-day columns. As we get into a six-month chart, again, it gets more granular as we step down into the lower time frames. This is now represents two days. And everything from one month in is uh, is intraday at that point. So let's go to the one month chart uh, and we can see that things are, are, are much tighter here. So yes, if, the, if, if something showed up, um, and this is, uh, in my opinion, what you would be looking at if you were, if you were um, looking for those quick uh, scalps or day trading, looking to see where the liquidity is moving, you're gonna be using a shorter uh, time frame chart uh, a lot stacking up right here. Let's let's just take this out a little bit so we can see the the, the contrast here. Um, that is uh, about thirty seven million dollars of resistance, and that is about twenty five million dollars of support. Uh, now let's move into one week, and you can see exactly what's happening here, right? Uh, support actually bumped up just a little bit and resistance trying to push you know in my opinion likely trying to push this price down into into uh, these bids let's go back to that contrast uh, contrasted look here uh, and again on one day it's even more granular um, so if if a hundred million bucks was to show up or any amount was to show up um, very quickly you would see it come in here 
Um, the price line and the CBD data happens in near real time. Uh, there is um, a little bit of time uh, on the back end of the chart. Now, if, if something came in in the, next, in the next couple of minutes, you would see it unless it, it was in and gone in seconds. Um, that you may not see depending on where it hit uh, next to the timestamp. Um, but as we go through time, these chunks now, again, and this is historical, gets chunked into, you know, about uh, 14, 15 minute chunks. But if it happens right now, you would see it, you would, you would see it come in here um, and land wherever it goes. And of course, what we're all looking to see is if we can get more liquidity under here in the 35 range up uh, to really send um, Bitcoin on a similar path uh, to what it has had, um, as we mentioned in the tweet here. Need to see more bid liquidity come into this section to get the kind of bounces, um, the trend reversals that we've seen historically in Bitcoin. Hope that has answered your question. Uh, if you've got more questions, you can certainly engage with us here. And I also invite you to join us um, in our group on Telegram. You can find uh, the links to everything uh, in our profile. Hope that helps. Thanks for engaging with us here at Material Indicators.